and welcome back to more better blues. I'm still here with a fantastic team of Hudson and Soft. So our next place we are going to is back to the Funny Island. And off to the Fountain of Youth. What's left of Noah's Ark? So what we're supposed to do here is whip our gun like so and shoot the this gong here right here. I think what it is is, let me do this right. Here. on the railroad? So next we got that taken care of. And I do believe Mr. Hoffa needs a drink. So let's give him a case of good old diaper rash. It's a bourbon, guava juice, mint, and talcum powder? Sybil, I mean Sybil. 
Have you ever thought about getting some surgery done? What? I was thinking, if you had your nose stretched out some, maybe squared off the head a little, you'd look fantastic. Not that you don't look nice now, of course. That is it! You've done nothing but stare at her this entire time! Come on, I'm a man. I'm not made of stone. Well, you know what I mean. Yes. Oh, I know what you mean, all right. You're just in a mood. No, I'm not! I will long remember what you said here. And I will never forget what you did here. I just can't believe you'd insult me like this! And on my birthday! What did somebody say? Birthday! Oh, shit. Camera. Don't worry, it's going on YouTube. Don't worry, it's it's, it's okay. <laughs> so, half of my man. I bring to you bearing gifts. A drink. Want a drink, Mr. Hoffa? Jimmy Hoffa cannot accept a drink from non-union wait staff. You want it in your sippy cab. I want served to member of the waitresses union. How do we get into the waitresses union? Fortunately for you, I am the union leader and also dues collect. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I know a setup when I see one. I suppose you want a favor to let us in the union. Prove you can keep from spilling on the paying customers. Take a tray of drinks and ride the bucking surfboard without dropping anything. Okay, um. And yet another challenge. Lovely. So, let's put on wipe out right here. Hey Max, want to see how I won all those surfing trophies back at school? No, I don't want to see you cry to the PE teacher and then beg me to club your competitors in the knees. <laughs> Why? I don't know, you're just jealous of my more flexible center of gravity. Watch this. As the surfboard bucks back and forth, use your mouse or the arrow keys to dodge flying bottles. But don't lean too far or, or backward. But don't lean forward or backward too far or the bottle will fall off track. One more time. Oh, that's a little doggy. Watch out for flying bottles. Hey, you can get two of Marion's babies at the Hearst Castle. Now do it 
with me on your head. Not unless one of the babies lets you borrow his diaper. You're too easily startled. Well, how about that? Apparently I did win. There you go, sir. How about that, Harper? Didn't drop a single bottle. Impressive, I must admit. All right, all right, you're in. You're lucky I'm very thirsty. Now, give me a drink. We just so happen to have one. Oh my, one more drink. Thank you. Our little man's going to need changing. Try it and I'll shoot off both your paws. So, time we go back. And over to the fountain of you. Fill up a glass of oh, some fountain. Of I put some water in there. But there's something I can do about those. But... Could it be Jimmy Hoffa? Jimmy Hoffa was a ruthless union organizer and head of the Teamsters in the 50s and 60s. Known for his ties to organized crime and his mysterious disappearance. Good recap, Sam. Also, Jimmy Hoffa wasn't a diaper wearing. Um, hey! Look at the way his little fellow <laughs> pulls back the hammer. He's adorable. People always showing me disrespect. You should never have started drinking from that fountain of youth. What fountain of youth? What fountain of youth are you talking about? That fountain right there, Brainiac. Oh, yeah. You expect us to believe the Fountain of Youth is on Easter Island? I can't believe it. I can't believe how perfect he is. And you came for the water. You've been hitting the fountain water a little hard, haven't you? I do partake on occasion, yes. That's my business. He likes his Fountain of Youth water, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Oh, God. A little bit. A little bit. So, why'd you drink so much? Why'd you drink yourself back to infancy? Look, I ain't got no problems, so don't go saying that I do. It's just a little discretion is required. Drink too little, 
and you have to go through puberty again. Too much and bada bing! Is baby getting fussy? Is it his bedtime? Stop it! I wonder if his precious little skull is soft and malleable like a real baby's. Oh dear. How can we find out? Step aside, sport. We grown-ups have to take care of a great big main old volcano god. You and your companion will be wanting to take a step back. Oh, look, he's trying to intimidate us. He's just perfect. Please, let's take him home. Not now, Max. Then when, Sam? My biological clock is ticking and I'm not getting any younger. What? So... Are you gassy? Is baby gassy? Does baby need to be burned? Get up. Give us that gun. We'll give you a nice big rattle for that dumb old gun of yours. You two are seriously trying my patience. Sam, let's teach him the wrong words for things. No, seriously. Playtime is over, son. We've got important work to do. I'm expanding my enterprises back here. And I'd hate for either of you to get hurt in the construction. We'll take that risk. We're freelance police. Freelancers? That's worse than scabs. Are you kidding? Bye bye now. Here. See if I won this thing. Prepare to have your socks knocked off, little pal. I don't wear socks, Sam. Just humor me. I feel better pretending that they're not naked. Okay, give me a hot second. So I think I want it. I'm not entirely sure if I want it, but... sure I'm supposed to do something with this. No way.
Look at all this junk that's been sucked into the Bermuda Triangle. Anything good? You want to read the second half of the Twenty Commandments? What? Nah, I only support omnipotent deities when I'm the deity. Fair enough. It's the fountain of youth. Make a wish, Sam! I wish there wasn't a deadly piranha swimming in it. I never wish that about anything! Well now. Maybe now we can use it? Or maybe not. You drink yourself back to infancy. Look, I ain't got no problems. So don't go saying that I do. It's just a little discretion is required. Drink too, and you have to go through puberty again. Too much, and bada bing! We're going bye bye now. Bye bye. You'll stay gone if you know what's good for you. Sam, look how his little eyes and the barrel of his gun follow us. <laughs> I could squeal. Of course you could. <laughs> no sorry. I guess I can do something about it, but... Little slice of paradise. Sam and Max, freelance police, ma'am. And we're here to stop a volcano. You babies are in danger. Shut up! You're not babies. God! <laughs> He's right. Pleased to meet you, boys. Don't be fooled by the diapers. We've been around the block a few times. My name's Amelia Earhart. Of course. We've already met Mr. Charles Lindbergh Jr. Whatever. And that other fella is one Mr. Dan Cooper. Hey, how y'all doing? Call me DB. Everybody does. Did y'all fly out here? Woohoo! You know. Yes, you guys have been missing for decades. That's the funny thing about this island. It's easy to lose track of time. You don't call, you don't write. You've got conspiracy theorists and documentary <laughs> filmmakers where it's sick. Whatever. You can't tell us what to do. Why haven't you gone home? 
And we're gonna clean get away? Heck no. They don't understand me at home. My parents are so stupid. Uh -huh. I'll need a drink order in 1973. I'm not leaving until I get some service. Younger than in your pictures. It's that dang fountain. And once you stop from it, you can't stop. We had to put the fountain off limits, or we would have drunk ourselves out of existence. Ironic, ain't it? I made my reputation being a woman unafraid to wear pants, and now I'm wearing rubber pants. Hey, sorry, new black. It must have been a big adjustment going back to wearing diapers. Oh, not for me. When you're in my line of work, it helps to have some extra protection, if you know what I'm saying. Did I ever tell y'all about how I dodged them feds and jumped out of the jumbo? Only like a million times. <laughs> so why are you the same age? How'd you manage to all regress to exactly the same age? It was a carefully planned and executed drinking game. You take a drink every time DB says the word parachute. What do you guys do for fun around here? We used to ride the bucking surfboard until we drank ourselves under the hot limit. Dang, that son of a bee was a hoot and a half! Give me a few more years and I'll beat your record, Amelia! Lovely. See you around, kids. <sighs> I'm a bit stuck here, so what I might do is I'm going to actually stop here. Hey, next part. I'm going to make sure what I'm doing is right and go from there. So stay tuned more of Sam and Max at the beach. Right after this. <laughs>